I'm the national record holder. I'm on the championship um, record holder. So I'm just grateful. Even without her saying it, you're probably aware that Shakari Richardson is the current 100 meter world champion. But you may have recognized the people sitting on either side of her Sharika Jackson and Shelly Ann Fraser Price. What's more, the rivalry between Richardson and Jackson, especially during last season, is beyond this world. They both dominated the track in their respective competitions, and as they raced against each other, they both tried to outrun the other. Long story short, they both had their fair share of wins and losses. But as the 2023 World Championships came to an end, it was Shikari who was hailed as the new 100-meter world champion. Sharika, on the other hand, was able to defend her title as the 200-meter world champion. Nevertheless, the rivalry between them is once again heating up, especially with the 2024 Paris Olympics happening in a few months. As a matter of fact, both sprinters secured a spot among the nominees for the highly prestigious 2024 Lorellis World Sportswoman of the Year. The list of nominees includes Spanish soccer sensation Aitana Bonmati, Jamaican track star Sharika Jackson, Kenyan track star Faith Kipyegon, 95 times World Cup winner Michaela Schifrin, and current world number one tennis star Iga Svetek. For Jackson, she was nominated due to the fact that she produced a brilliant performance in Budapest to retain her world 200-meter title in 21.41 seconds. Mind you, it is the second fastest time ever run, behind only Florence Griffith Joyner's 21.34 world record set in 1988. Sharika also won silver medals in the 100 meters and 4 by 100 meters relay. Most of all, she is the first athlete in World Championships history to win medals in the 100, 200, and 400 meters, and the 4x100 meter and 4x400 meters relays. Meanwhile, Richardson was nominated because of a highly successful World Championships in Budapest, winning the gold medal at 100 meters where she beat Jamaica's Sharika Jackson and the great Shelly Ann Fraser Price. It was her first major individual international title and she achieved it with a championship record of 10.65 seconds. She also won bronze in the women's 200 meters final and on the penultimate day of the event won a second gold as a member of the US team in the 4x100 meter relay final. As you can see, they are both spectacular sprinters and have proven their talent in the sport time and time again. And in a few more days, we will be witnessing them battling each other again as they are expected to open their 2024 season on April 6th at the Invitational Meeting in Florida. While Sharika Jackson was originally set to open her season in Jamaica in mid-May, she ended up not competing there. The Jamaican track star was supposed to line up at the JAAA Puma Fuller Anderson Development Indoor Meet at GC Foster College in Spanish Town, headlining a women's 60-meter final that also included her training teammate from the MVP, two-time World U-20 100-meter champion in Tina Clayton and her twin sister Tia. Simply put, the meet was supposed to mark the start of Jackson's build-up towards the Paris 2024 Olympics later this year. But because she wasn't able to open her season at the event, she planned to make her season debut in the women's 60 meter at the Grace Jackson Queens Development Meet at the National Stadium instead. However, shortly before the meet, well, a day prior to be exact, track and field fanatic Owen M said in a tweet, Sharika Jackson has withdrawn from the women's 60 meter at the Queens Grace Jackson meet tomorrow. He also noted that it was the second meet she has withdrawn from this year having pulled out of the JAAA Puma Fuller Anderson development meet because she felt under the weather. Still, despite her absence in the Queen's Grace Jackson meet, she still holds some stellar records to keep her way ahead of her rivals on the track. This is evidenced by the fact that she is the recipient of the prestigious RJR Gleaner Sports Foundation's National Sportswoman of the Year Award. She received the award at the Jamaican Pegasus Hotel in New Kingston in January after she capped off an impressive 2023 season. Jackson took to Instagram to share photos of her that night. She captioned the post, She's royal. Another post showing her holding a handful of trophies. The post was captioned, I am truly grateful. 
It was quite a lengthy post as she expressed her gratitude to the RJR Gleaner Sports Foundation, her family and friends, her coach, agent, the management staff, and teammates at MVP Track and Field Club, as well as her sponsors. She also took the time to pen a short message for her high school coach, the late Mr. Constantine Wilberforce Houghton, who she wished was there to share in the special moment. His memory is a blessing, she wrote. In the midst of your struggles, stay humble, stay committed, build your physical, emotional, and mental strength because your mind is the most powerful tool ever. This is exactly what Shakari Richardson learned the hard way as she struggled and powered through a series of unfortunate events in the past. But she emerged a better person from that, so much so that people believe that Shakari herself admitted as much. It wasn't easy, but she... Long story short, Shakari Richardson's journey from adversities to achieving the crowning point in the athletics world makes it a compelling tale of redemption. She has reached the top of the podium at the world, but the question is, will she do the same in Paris, or will it be Sharika Jackson who will end up at the top? Well, we'll get to take a peek at how strong they are this season once they run against each other at the Miramar Invitational in two weeks. As you all know, the anticipation for the 2024 track and field season is at an all-time high, as the reigning world champions Sharika Jackson and Shakari Richardson gear up to kick off their campaigns at the prestigious Miramar Invitational on April 6th. Both sprinters have been eagerly awaited since their last appearance at the Prefontaine Classic in Eugene last September. And so, as the Miramar Invitational draws near, all eyes will be on Jackson and Richardson as they prepare to set the track ablaze once again. Their return to competition promises to be a thrilling spectacle, igniting excitement amongst fans and athletes alike as they embark on their quest for further glory in 2024. In the meantime, Shikari has something to say to true fans of the sport. If y'all actually respect track and field, please stop entertaining and following these track pages that have no clue or credibility to what they are saying about the athletes y'all actually care for. Anyhow, while she's off the track, she's been busy, especially after being featured in a Nike X Yakimus collection. In an Instagram post, Shakari shared a photo of herself on a billboard for the campaign. It was a special moment for her as she looked back to who she was before and realized how far she had come. The little girl that was raised in South Dallas on the other side of town posted up in downtown Dallas repping 214 Anywhere I Go. What's more, she has been repeatedly featured in Nike campaigns and recently modeled for Yakima's swoosh bag too and was also spotted in Nike's Runaway Anywhere campaign in September 2023. Just so you know, the 23-year-old was also seen wearing Nike's swoosh spikes during the World Championships in Budapest. What she does and says from here on out will definitely catch the public's opinion the same way Sharika Jackson's every move, at least those shared with the public, is under watch. Speaking of which, here's another athlete that is under the watchful eye of the general public.